All right, thank you very much, TJ. And communities across the area have been dealing with that drenching rain for about 24 hours now. We have video in from Cranston. It's just one of the many cities that are waiting to dry out this morning. After several streets basically just turned into rivers last night, you can see cars kicking up some waves here. A flood warning remains in effect. Iowa News reporter Walt Buteau is checking spots across the state this morning. Where are you at right now, Walt? We're in, we're in, actually, we're in uh, Smithfield on Waterman Avenue here in Smithfield, and you can see it's uh, appropriately named this morning. This is a parking lot, has maybe six to eight inches of water in it. This parking lot floods on a semi-regular basis when we get this much rain. This is the Winosquatucket over its banks, obviously, and as we uh, pan what would be uh, north upriver, you can see that it is, um, I don't know, I guess this, is, this might be south. It's a little early, actually. As you can see, the water approaching the girders of the short little bridge which is an access road into a parking lot up here in Smithfield. We did notice this morning some puddling on some of the roads but it's really not too bad up there this morning. It seems like we've gotten the worst of it. The problem now is as these rivers and tributaries rise that could potentially cause some issues. You can see this is definitely higher than normal. One other thing we're noticing out here this morning for a June morning it's cold. It's relatively cold at least. Not your typical June morning uh, Although the rain might be somewhat typical, the temperature definitely is lower than we expected. We'll be throughout the state. We're heading, uh, going to head south next, head down to a few other spots that tend to flood during events like this. And we'll bring you those live pictures later in this newscast, Steve. Thank you all. Good thing you brought that jacket. We want to see your photos and videos of Andrea's impact on southern New England. You can submit them by using the reported function of the WPRI.com app, or you can email them to report it at WPRI.com.